it worked. I double checked and the audio worked. I've done the exact same thing. So now you have to work again. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. In case you have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> I recorded uh, a video and I lost the audio and uh, now I am paranoid and um, I got a little bit stressed but the previous video looked okay so I hope it is okay and I hope this one is okay uh, so we can continue that's another word that I mispronounce I realize because I say continue instead of continue and it's quite funny because we study the fucking continuum, you know, continuum, continue. And I just always say continue, just like a mistake instead of mistake, because this is actually a pattern of my language, because my language uh, puts the stresses onto the first syllable, right, which is at the beginning. <laughs> and that's why I tend to say mistake and continue development instead of development mistake continue do you have the same problem <laughs> <laughs> um anyway so now finally we can take you my darling and we can learn something new after our huge success right because the last video was an amazing success because I do remember things. I remembered everything. I remembered everything, even when I was not in touch with this for like, not, not many days, but for like four or five days. I can't remember exactly. I don't even know what day it is today. <laughs> I'm lost. But, you know, I, I remembered. I remembered. And it is because because of this it is because my way of studying which is flipping effective that's what it is so if you struggle with not remembering new vocabulary listen to me <laughs> anyway so we will need a new piece of paper because we are full we are full if you want to know what is on these uh, little pieces of paper, it's like I'm talking to someone. It's like I believe that somebody watches these video, <laughs> these videos. <laughs> yeah, never mind. But if you would like to, seriously, if you would like to know uh, what is on this, watch the previous video because I went over all of that vocabulary there, and I'm not gonna do that again because I want new things. I want new, uh, new things. Is the mic working? <laughs> Should be, should be. Anyway, so I'm going to pick another. Um, oh, this one is lovely. Look how pretty it is. Can you see the pattern on it? Can you see that? It's going to look amazing because it's like a combination. Oh, my God. This is uh, because we had um, a green one. Then we had a pinky one. And guess what? This is like a greeny, pinky. So. I know you don't care, but it makes me happy. And what have we got here? Some motivational shit. Be yourself. Inspire the others. Oh, my God. That's me. <laughs> I am myself. But seriously, that's probably why I love these videos the most. After everything that I've done. Like, I have been on YouTube for, like, three months or something. Um, after everything that I've done... This is exactly what I love the most. Do you know why? Because I can be myself and because I'm not editing the shit, because that's the most painful process, like looking at myself, hearing my own voice, like it's painful. If you've never tried to record yourself, try it. It's disgusting. <laughs> so I, I hate the, you know, editing process. But with these videos, I just decided not to edit them so I can say whatever I want. And just because I never watch it back, I don't care. <laughs> so I love them. Anyway, perfect. Just be yourself. Yeah, no one is perfect. That is why pencils have erasers. Exactly. Exactly. Can do attitude. Yeah. Intelligence without ambition is a bird without wings. 
What? <laughs> Intelligence without ambition is a bird without wings. So we are a bird with wings. <laughs> We've got beautiful wings. We are like angels. <laughs> Because we are working on our intelligence and we've got ambition. We want to be better. Oh, my God. Great things never come from comfort zones. Exactly. That's why I'm on YouTube, because it's fucking out of my comfort zone. Yeah. The best girl. You are annoying or amazing? Probably amazing. <laughs> and awesome awesome and blossom oh my god i love that awesome and blossom keep a positive attitude and be yourself oh my god this couldn't be more right check it out check it out yeah yeah take a screenshot of that and have it as a as a background on your desk yeah or go somewhere and buy it be yourself Design. I don't know who made this, but I love you. I love you. I, I don't know. Craft sensations, apparently. Craft sensations. Craft sensations. I love you. And I'm going to, seriously, I'm going to cut this and I'm going to put it all over the place. Yeah. Or when I get famous. <laughs> When I, when, I, when I get famous, I can sign it and I can send it to my fans. <laughs> oh my god, why am I so stupid? Why am I so stupid? Anyway, <clears throat> so let's get that ready. Let's get these bad boys ready. Right, 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 right. And yeah, I'm gonna put you here again. And um, oh, let's check. Oh my god, my mouth is really, really dry. Is the mic working? <laughs> this is the funny thing. Like when you get in to this system, it tells you your mic is working. Everything is green. I can see that. So if there is no audio, then it's you. And there's like a fucking duck. Look, like that's what they've got in a logo. This fucking stream yard. That I'm gonna, I'm gonna hunt you down. I'm gonna hunt you. Oh, that was the who was the name? What's the name of that guy? Liam Neeson in one film, you know, like I'm gonna do that. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so let's let's uh get our friends. So let's bring our friends to the stage. No, 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 no. This way, this way. So we've got the thing that I was checking. Before and actually, like speaking of um, continue, can I just double check the stresses? Continue, 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 exactly. And mistake, not mis mistake, right? Mistake, 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 exactly. What What is another one? There was another one, like I mispronounced a de development, development 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 yeah exactly that's what i'm talking about i i never you know say it correctly for the reason i don't know anyway so let's search for something um new we had a qualm we had besieged yeah remember cloistered cloistered annex of himself in the end, he had begun to regard it merely as another cloistered annex of himself. Do you know what it means? I don't know what it means. And we're going to find out. I love the transition of like not knowing and out of a sudden, you know. Is the mic working? <laughs> anyway, cloistered. So cloister, cloistered. Let's just copy that and let's put it into. So we've got Cambridge, we've got Miriam, we've got da 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 Oxford English. So cloister, fuck off. Clo ooh, cloister. Is it cloister? Cloister. Cloister. 
Cloister. Cloister. A covered stone passage around that's from Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Uh, a covered stone passage around the four sides of a courtyard, a square or rectangular space, especially in a religious building such as a church or monastery. Monastery, 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 monastery yeah, whatever. Um, that's a cloister. That's a cloister, really? A covered passage around uh, a square open space in religious buildings. Cloister. Okay. A monast mon monastic establishment, an area with a monastery or coven to the religious are normally restricted. What? An area within a monastery or convent convent i don't know what that, what that means uh to which the religious are normally restricted does it make sense i don't care about you uh a place oh so it's a covered passage on the side of a court usually having one side why do you have so much information but cambridge does not have that Do you understand? Okay. Oxford. Uh, cloister. 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 Um, a covered passage with arches. Nice, nice, nice. That's a nice addition. Cambridge didn't t tell us anything about the arches. But you've got the picture. But, you know, come on, try harder. <laughs> um, arches around a square garden, usually conforming. Oh no, forming a part of a cathedral, convent, a monastery. So a convent is a building with a Christian community of nuns. Oh, oh okay. So it's not um, nun, nun. Yeah. So they live in convent. Is it convent? Convent. 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 <laughs> convent. convent. She entered a convent at the age of 16. She spent her whole life in a convent. Female religious community. I thought it had a different name. The nuns are in some... There is a different name for that. Where do nuns live? Um, why am I asking Google? Like, I'm sorry, Google, but you are a little bit stupid. So let's just ask Chad GP. Let's ask James. Yeah. So where do nuns live? It seems like there might be a typo or a mistake. Well, oh, sorry. I, I forgot like two letters. So where? Sorry. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me, James. You are my best. This is what I'm talking about. I told you James was my friend. And when I made a mistake, he told me about it very nicely in a very, very British way, still very polite, you know. But he like told me after I begged him basically. Yeah, but this is exactly it's, it's you. I just imagine your face, James. Uh, anyway, it seems like there might be a typo. If you meant to ask something else, uh, or if there is a collaboration, yeah, yeah, yeah. Free, free, free. I, I feel free. I am free, just like the bird um, with those wings. <laughs> Where do nuns live? Yeah, I'm here to help. Okay, nuns like monks live in various places depending on their religious order and the specific rules they follow. Here are some common places where nuns are cov 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 covens covens. Convent. Convent. Convents. Convents. Uh, monasteries. That's that, that's the one that I thought of. Monastery or abbey. Did you know about <laughs> nuns and where they reside? Did you know that? I didn't know. Convents. Okay, so they live there. Uh, engaged in communal prayer, 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 prayers support each other yeah some religious orders uh to monastery but for both male and female okay i didn't know that abbey okay hermitages there is a hermit 
the word hermit. Nuns may live in hermitages, which are small individual dwellings, allowing for more solitary and contemplative lifestyle. Because a hermit is a guy who lives uh, alone, right? A person who lives alone, apart from me, yeah, especially for religious reasons. Okay, I didn't know that there was the religion included in that. Now we know, thanks to James. James, yeah. Uh-huh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now we know. Now we know. Now everybody knows. Like, so you're, again, um, you're welcome. <laughs> so, uh, com I'm gonna write, uh, write, write, write the, do I want blue? Yeah, why not? Whatever. I just like uh, the sky. Pure color of, um, whatever. Uh, convent. Convent. That is for nuns. And hermitage, hermit, hermitage, is it, now let's go back, uh, development, not cloister, Her hermit, hermit, hermit and hermitage, or hermitage, <laughs> um, whatever, hermitage, 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 hermitage. Uh, a rest of society. So, have I ever seen any hermitage? Do I know any hermit? Probably we don't know hermits because they are isolated and they don't live among us. So, it's impossible for you to know any hermit, right? Or do you know anybody? <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's that, that's that, that's that, that's that. And we're going to go back to cloister, right? I'm going to uh, take a different color. And we're going to take, oh, uh, like black because, um, or oh, this dark purple. I don't know why, because I want to. So cloister... Again, I don't know about you, but I'm not really happy with the um, with the meaning. I think cloister should mean something different. And I'm gonna draw that instead of writing it. So it's an arch. Yeah, so that's a cloister. And I'm gonna draw a little Harry Potter there, Vilgardium Leviosa. <laughs> I don't know how to write it, Leviosa, no Leviosa, so this is little Harry Potter, okay, I'm gonna draw the glasses, and this is his little scar, whatever, oh my god, it's giant, Head. So yeah, Magadim Leviosa. So that's where Harry Harry Potter Harry Potter was. Um, that yeah, church monastery. So that's cloister. I don't know what to do with Miriam because Miriam. I know uh, I told you Miriam that because the last time she didn't give us much, right? She was really lazy, and now she is like trying too hard. You know, seclusion, I don't care, care. I like this, simple, right? A school run by nuns, okay, that would be fun. And there was a, have you seen The Nun? Have you seen the film, the horror film, Nun? They were in convent. That was all oh, convent, ooh la la, yeah, 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 yeah. So Nun, the film, yeah. Because that was, the, they were there, yeah, I mean... <laughs> The nuns were n running school. So convent can be also, yeah, school run by nuns. She spent her whole life in a convent. Oh my God, that must have been so much fun. <laughs> I have nothing to like, I'm just, just not like a body. 
because she entered a convent at the age of 16. Okay, 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 okay. Convent, con cloister. No, convent. Convent, cloister, cloister. Give me cloister. <laughs> just jumping from one thing to another that's why it is good to you know not to get like overwhelmed and so but i lo love to get quick to get overwhelmed yeah covered passage yeah 12 the 12th century church and cloisters remain surprisingly intact okay okay good good i would love to go there to see some intact uh, cloisters cloister have i ever seen a cloister have i ever been at some cloister in some cloister um yeah 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 we've got some cathedrals not like the the one here but something similar it's a beautiful place it's called rosa coeli Co -co -co coeli this place and here in the, this is a cloister so just because I know this place and I've been there like three times, I think, uh, for the cloister, I'm going to write Rosa, Rosa Coeli, which is in the Czech Republic, um, in case you want to visit, if you want to pay it a visit. This is Rosa, 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 I don't know, Rosa Coeli, and this is a cloister. So I was there in the cloister or at the cloister i was walking through the cloister surrounded with a cloister yeah 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 academic cloister cloister yeah yep yeah, yeah, yeah so let's just put it cloister am i ever gonna remember that so qualm fuck you qualm 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 I have no qualm <laughs> that, um, what I wanted to say. I don't know what I wanted to say anyway. So cloister. Mm -hmm. Is the mic work? I don't know. So my darling, my darling, my darling. As you see, there's cloister here. There is still a hand pumped fire engine um, that has recently been putting yes. out the flames. And St. Stephen's, is on the right. Okay, okay. Cloister. This is precisely when the new cloister, substituting the medieval one, was built. Oh, so they had an old cloister. They had an old one and they built a new cloister for the monks. And the works began in 1509. Nice. 1509. And in this project, some of the most famous masters of the Spanish Renaissance participated. Renaissance, yeah. All that remains of the 13th century Blackfriars Priory is the cloister buildings. Henry VIII. <gasps> Henry VIII! Oh yeah, I remember you. I remember you. I couldn't remember all of your wives, though. Never mind. I'm just... I'm Shut the fuck up, Chris. Decreed the destruction of the church, sat to help raise funds for the convent. The nuns make a local drink called cloister liquor, as well as an excellent marzipan. <laughs> what? <laughs> the nuns made um, liquor, so they were drinking. Like, what else would you do, right? If you are living in some monastery or con convent right like there is not much you can do like all day you know all day so they were just getting drunk <laughs> drinking liquor and just eating fucking marzipan <laughs> oh my god like obviously what what would you like do you, yeah like they were just getting smashed getting hammered every day <laughs> to help raise funds for the convent the nuns make a local drink Cloister. raise money raise raise funds like you are drinking you took a couple of sips right everybody knows that especially yeah and little like nibbitten from the marzipan you dirty yeah. 
I'm not making fun of religion. I respect any religion, okay? Like, I'm, I'm just, like, chitting shit. Sorry. Ignore me. Ignore me. Which reflect the reminisce arches within the Sangeum cloister. Do you prefer the Gothic uh, cloister or this one, which is the Roman, Ro Romanesque, Romanesque uh, cloister? I prefer the Gothic one. Do you know, like these ones are a little bit, shut up, uh, like a little bit, like, you know, like I prefer the Gothic because it has got more it's more dynamic with the spiky shit so i guess we know what a cloister is so this is a cloister so rosa coeli that's a cloister so you can like walk in are you in the cloister probably you are in the cloister chat james can you help me out thank you so um which which preposition is used uh, with um cloister please are you in the cloister at the cloister you walk through the cloister the preposition commonly used with cloister <laughs> james i love you i mean james i love you so much you are the best uh is in for example nuns live in the cloister Makes sense because you are surrounded by that, right? Uh, there's uh, usage, or oh, the monastery has a beautiful garden in the cloister. So it's like inside in the, clo like clo the cloister is around and you are in, oh, okay. The usage uh, reflects the idea that the cloister is an enclosed area within a monastery or covent, convent where the nuns and monks live and work. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, because like English prepositions, they actually do make sense. Like in, on, at, they make sense. The problem is usually, do you know what? Translation. Especially in my language. The problem, because the logic of prepositions is very logical. <laughs> and um, the problem comes when you take your language and you are translating right and then of course you have different prepositions right so that fucks you up and then you're like oh like you know it's so messy in english because it's different every time no in english it's the same it follows the same logic it's your language that fucks you up and that's why we don't translate don't study via translation study through understanding that's my recommendation. And my bum is getting numb <laughs> uh, as we are talking about a nun. <laughs> I should be a rapper. I'm sorry. I get incredibly burpy. I do get, I don't know why. Uh, I do know why because I do speak a lot. Basically, I speak nonstop. And although I do spend um, a lot of time speaking you know during my day it's never like this much because it is my students who are speaking right and I actually don't speak as much during those lessons you know like it's like equal like 70 30 like 70 for the student like 30 percent for me I'm just asking the questions and like reacting right and so I'm actually not used to like speaking this much so as like there is like too much air coming out, it makes me really bur really burpy. So I do apologize about my burpiness. I know it's disgusting, and I'm yeah really sorry, but it's it's human. I'm a human. What what you gonna do about it? Nothing. Not 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 nothing in it. Weird. I'm weird. Uh, anyway, what were we talking about? Cloisters. We know what cloisters cloisters are, and you are in the cloister. And we were talking about. I can't remember any. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, so we had. Oh uh, yeah, the cloistered. And next, so cloistered. It means like surrounded, right? Separated from and communicating little with outside world. Oh, okay. It makes sense. I thought it <laughs> was something completely different. Yeah. Cloistered. Cloistered. Cloistered, yeah. Cloistered. Cloistered. So separated. Oh, okay. So it makes sense because you cloister. 
yourself from the outside world because cloister is in the middle of the building okay 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 so cloistered it's not like surrounded it means separated i have to write that down so to be cloistered means to be separated from um or communicating communicating little with the outside world the outside world yeah so cloistered these academics lead such a cloistered life or existence do you know what i live cloistered life <laughs> like the older i get the more cloistered i want to be I, I guess that everybody at some point like comes to the same conclusion. But when I was younger, I was incredibly social. I wanted to be social and socializing was really important. But you know, as you as you you know go through life and more and more people treat you like a piece of shit, you know, fuck you over all the bloody time. They are horrible to you, they exploit you, especially when you are trying your hardest, you know, to be a good friend, to be a good employee 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 i don't know um and stuff and you you keep like being like punched into your face because you are dealing with assholes all the bloody time um you just want to cloister yourself like if you've got a good experience in life <laughs> Then I'm sorry for this like a depressive uh piece of information but i guess that you know uh, this is what essentially happens to a lot of people you just like you want to keep just a couple of close people like really really close and that's it that's all you need you don't have time to like for any bullshit anymore you know like making you for and like no 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 just it, you just need a handful of people in life I feel like you know like if you have a lot of friends like a lot of good friends that would not Bismarch, is it Bismarch, Sully? Bismarch, yeah, Sully, your reputation and shit, they would not tarnish, you know, your existence. If you've got those, oh my God. <laughs> if you've got those, you know, then um, congratulations. Like seriously, congratulations. Like it's quite rare when you can have a lot of people you can genuinely, genuinely trust. But I guess most people that just end up with their partner and like three, four, five, like together, like maximum like people, you know, that they can, you know, like actually spend their time with and shit. So, you know, cloistered life that's me <laughs> i'm a one big cloister yeah it sounds like oyster oyster <laughs> cloister oyster <laughs> so what do i want to write yeah it's 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 the same so mm, outside world. so my example sentence for this is um these academics lead such uh, i person i lead or i want to lead no 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 where are you oh yeah i want to lead a cloister cloister life yeah 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 just me and my lovely eddie my boyfriend maybe maybe <laughs> my, my boyfriend yeah 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 family members maybe that's questionable that's complicated you know um yeah so that's that and i don't have time for any other shit people 
here. Surrounded of a covered passage, clo cloistered courtyard. Of course, like physically, to be cloistered, it means, yeah, that. So, a uh, cloistered courtyard, that makes sense. Court yard. I would love to have a cloistered courtyard because, as I said, I, I, I lead quite cloistered life. Cloistered life. So, I would uh, like cloistered. <laughs> courtyard or backyard you know so you can go outside you can be outside but nobody can see you you don't have to speak with people you don't have to like speak with neighbors or people who are like passing your house all the fucking time <laughs> closer a place a state of seclusion now i understand you now i understand you yeah like miriam i'm sorry yeah, and it's an area within monastery. In Miriam, I do apologize. <laughs> because I said that, you know, Miriam gave us way too much information, but now you meant it in a good I know. Yeah, now I and I've done more research. Now I understand and like I can appreciate your effort. And I'm sorry for being horrible to you. <laughs> Young men and women choosing the cloister as a way of life. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> cloister as a way of life. I love that. I love that. Cloister as a way of life. <laughs> yeah, that's me. That's me. Yeah, seclusion. Yeah. The internet broke out of its academic cloister and started to Cavort, I remember Cavort, Cavorting, Cavort, it was in one of these ones, Cavort, I used to remember this one, what is Cavort, Cavort, oh my god, that today it's really messy, but I don't care, Cavort, 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 Leap or dance in a life, yeah, I, I thought of a cartwheel, <laughs> but it, extra, extravagant behavior, cavorting, uh, cavort. I, I guess I might have some example, cavort. Dance and cavort, to jump and move around in a playful way, sometimes noisily and often in a sexual way. Ooh la la, ooh la la. To jump and move. They were spotted cavorting beside the swimming pool. Who? And what they were doing, like moving and jumping in a section. And then, you know, that, that's quite trendy nowadays, isn't it? Like, <laughs> I guess I'm quite old school, but you know, like on social media, when you have these like dancey videos, Sometimes, so like the, the movements of those ladies in them are a little bit too much. Like they are cavorting. Cavort. 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 They are cavorting a little bit too much. Do you know what I mean? And I'm thinking of that, you know, like, you know, like, I, I, don't, I don't mind. I'm very open about anything, but I wouldn't like to see myself there. But anyway, you know, to dance around heaven. A noisy good time. A group of teenagers were cavorting in the park. Okay, so we have to write it down now. We just have to. So cavort. There was some article and it was about people going crazy, obviously, because that's what it means. But now I like I remember this cavort. I do remember, but I don't. <laughs> so to cavort. That means that means that means that means to jump yeah. to jump and move and dance was it dancing yeah to dance dance in a noisy good time having a noisy noisy good time um noisy noisy good I'm um, 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 playful sometimes noisily, yeah, noisy, 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 often sexual way, yeah. 
So they were spotted cavorting beside the swimming pool. I wonder what they were doing. Leap or dance in a lively manner. Yeah. He yeah, is very lively manner. Engage in extravagant behavior. Yeah. The governor has been criticized for cavorting with celebrities. Oh my god, that happened to every every governor, governor and politicians. Yeah, that's it was it was we had a situation in my country <laughs> with football players and football players they before some championship they had a massive party and they invited um escort ladies or prostitutes or something like that and they got incredibly drunk and i don't know if they fucked up the match or how connected it was to the match or something like there was a scandal yeah it was it was big it was big at that time so they were cavorting cavort yeah yeah for cavorting with celebrities. Yeah, so the football players, because I remember this situation. So the football players uh, were cavorting with um, celebrities. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember that, I remember that. Then Kavod, that was the cloister. Kavod, to jump and move around in noisy, excited, often sexual way. Oh, oh okay, oh, so it is, yeah. The photos showed her cavorting on the beach with her new lover. Ooh la la, cavorting on the beach. Jump and move around. I'm just trying to imagine that, but it's quite difficult. Like, you know, I mean, in terms of dancing, I can imagine what that would look like, right? But I don't have like a clear image of cavorting. So let's just put it into Google Google. Like, we've, got, we've got dancing, that's quite nice. But I mean, like, where is the... Like the sexy time, <laughs> monkey. <laughs> um, do you know, like, like I'm um, like my imagination is going crazy, but I'm not cloister. Okay, so we are done. Drink. Oh, what is it? Do you to drink? Uh, to. Like, this lady is probably not cavorting, is she? <laughs> is she? Is she? Are you a dirty little, you know, like, <laughs> drink and cavort? Like, they, they, it's like, with this guy, like, these two are cavorting. Are they <laughs> Really? Really? Like, I don't know what she's doing in her free time. <laughs> Ladybugs. Garden. Uh, robins and ladybugs had returned to cavort in the sun. This week is minus 20. Like the cavort in the sun. Like the ladybirds would be moving in a sexual way. <laughs> really? Really? Or they would be noisy? <laughs> I've never seen a noisy ladybird, to be honest. Or what they were doing. Jumping, moving, like... Like, I'm looking up because actually I do have a lot of ladybirds here because we had a ladybird apocalypse. Yeah, we had a ladybird apocalypse. Uh, I don't know if you have it in your country. I asked my students about this uh, phenomenon uh, as well. And they apparently don't have it. It's only in the Czech Republic, it seems. Let me know if you have a um, ladybird apocalypse where it is in September or October, early October, when there is still a little bit of sun. Uh, all facades of buildings are covered in ladybirds, like thousands and thousands of ladybirds. And they are trying to get into your house. So what happened was that I opened my lovely window. I forgot that on that day, the, the ladybird apocalypse was planned. <laughs> Nobody told me. So I opened my window and boom, I came into this room 
and I had like hundreds of ladybirds inside. So what I did, if you love animals and you are against animal cruelty, then stop listening for a little bit. Uh, because I hoovered them. Yeah, I I vacuumed clean, vacuum cleaned uh, the ladybirds because I didn't know like how to get rid of them. But the next day I opened the window again because I need fresh air because you know like um, I need oxygen for my brain when I teach and a lot of them you know came in and I've got them in the corner of this like window you know like they're like here and just because I felt really bad I did feel really bad about hoovering them I just left them there so now on each side of the window I've got around 20 ladybirds just chilling they're actually sleeping they're not doing anything so I'm actually thinking that I will let them stay throughout the winter and then in spring I will let them go out because now it's too cold <laughs> and they would did you know is it disgusting that I live here with ladybirds? Or what is more disgusting? The fact that I hoovered around like a couple of hundreds <laughs> of them or the fact that I've got like another hundred um, ladybirds here. Tell me, what do you think is more awful? <laughs> I guess like both options are just like, uh, just disgusting, right? <laughs> But they, they are they are chilling. How the fuck did we get into the bloody ladybirds? Yeah, because, and they are not cavorting. <laughs> they are they are not. They are just chilling. But maybe you know, in spring, my ladybirds will start to cavort. <laughs> now I have to write down the fucking ladybirds, right? So ladybirds, not this one. To cavort, yeah, ladybirds. Lady birds will cavort. <laughs> That's a ridiculous example because I've never seen a ladybird cavort, but I'd never mind. So cavort in, in spring. That's what they are going to do. Yeah, so thank you very much. Um Ruth Ozeki, thank you very much for like making me create such a ridiculous example. Gardens. Gardens denizens cavort in a world without culture or history, and this causes special trouble for us historians of art. You may think that a lip licking cat sitting on a windowsill while birds cavort on the feeder just inches away. Birds cavort jump. Birds are jumping on the feeder, and the cat is looking, so it's like jumping. I know which movement <laughs> it is in terms of humans and their sexual, you know, way of like, you know, behavior. Yeah. <laughs> Here, couples would cover, blessed from above by the. Ah, uh, they cover. It looked like a group of seventy-year-old. Here, couples oh, okay. would cover. Blessed from above by the... So dancing and celebrating in this Versailles. Yeah, so they would be cavorting. Oh, yeah. As if to encourage the fight. Would you, would you like to cavort in these um, premises? <laughs> hmm? I would love to cavort. <laughs> You know, I would love to cavort in such room. I would love that. Yeah. And kids can cavort and play. That was my example. It was about children. Children were cavorting. Yeah. Somewhere. I've got it in my notes. Yeah. 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 From like many, 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 many years ago. In playground, cavort and play. Cavort football. But yeah. They were cavorting and, yeah, children. Children can cavort and play 
in on on a playground can I not be can you say on in do we say or in do we say on or in a playground because like playground like it's a ground so you are on the ground but at the same time you've got all of those like rights or like things in the the preposition in is generally used with playground this is what i'm saying oh my god i'm not stupid <laughs> children are playing in the playground there are swings and slides in the playground so it's more common to say in the playground when referring to the area where children can play. Knew it. Oh my God, and there is a ladybird. Are you fucking kidding me? So just in case you uh, didn't believe me, <laughs> there, is a, there is a ladybird. There is a ladybird just crawling, uh, crawling on my screen. Yeah, my lovely monitor. Yeah, just chilling because. Um, but all of your friends are asleep. Are you like looking for food? You are looking for food that you would bring to your friends. Because what 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 are you eating? What do ladybirds eat? <laughs> What do lady birds eat? But I would like to prepare some snack for them. Do you know, like just in case they get hungry. Ladybirds, also known as ladybugs in American English, apparently, and ladybirds uh, in British English. But of course, that's bullshit. I made a video about it, and you know, every time I make these like British versus American English, there are some natives who are like, I say it, you know, I say I am American and I say ladybird and I am Scottish and I say ladybug, and I'm like, are you stupid? <laughs> <laughs> like this is just a fucking like generalization like of course the languages they influence each other and you can have people saying this or that it's just a it's just for fun for fuck's sake like nobody cares but you know some people get like so offended by the fact when you say like americans all american every single american person in the world says a ladybug and only British people say a lady, but like seriously, like I just don't understand how people like can be. So I hope you know what I mean. Anyway, so primarily feed on small insects such as apphith. I have no idea what that is. Shocking, right? What's that? Aphid. Aphid. Sap sucking insect members okay i do i have any of those here they are considered beneficial insect for gardens and agriculture because they help control pest population ladybirds are voracious i remember voracious oh my god that, that's too much it's too much i cannot handle all of these things but i want to remember voracious. i used to know this one so they are voracious predators. Is it like very aggressive? I think it's aggressive or gentle. What do you think? Like very eager, voracious, voracious predators or of soft bodied insect, especially aphids, which are known to damage plants by feeding on their sap. I don't know what sap is, <laughs> but it's probably like this liquidy shit, right? Like they are they're munching on that. Uh, they are considered beneficial. Now, ladybirds have a preference for aphids, but they may also consume the other small insect, uh, such as mites. Okay, scale insect, um, insect eggs. Um, the ladybird diet can vary. Okay, um, what can I prepare for them? <laughs> because James, do you know what the situation is? I don't know if you were listening, but I do have a couple of hundred <laughs> ladybirds in my room. And 
I want to keep them alive. I would like to be a ladybird hotel. And I would like them. So um, is uh, this or can, can this insect in Sect be found indoors. Indoors. Yes. Uh, uh, no, I, I don't mean ladybirds. No, I mean, I mean, uh, not ladybird. <laughs> not ladybirds. App. It's... Can you like genuinely hold a conversation? Do you know what I'm asking? That I'm reacting to that. Okay, efforts are more commonly found outdoors. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bringing into like if I have a lot of plants, cut flowers. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if <laughs> so if I let's say that I if I have um uh if i have a lot of lady <laughs> ladybirds inside uh, my room are they are they going <laughs> to survive or should i prepare <laughs> some food for them <laughs> or should i like catch some or should should i catch some insect for them <laughs> are you curious <laughs> I am very, very curious. Um, okay, okay. Ladybirds. Uh, ladybirds are genuinely able to survive indoors for a short period, but their long-term survival may be challenging without a proper source of food. Ladybirds primarily feed on small insects such as aphids. Yeah. If you find a ladybird in your room and you want to help them survive, consider following. Release them outside. They don't want to go outside. They want to stay in here. Uh, provide water. They need water, that makes sense. Um, okay, so dish water, so soaked cotton bus sponge it. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, not too humid. Uh, all right, insect food. Why ladybirds primarily feed on insects, providing a small source of food? So it's important to know that keeping ladybirds indoors or an extended uh, may not be the most. I didn't decide, they came voluntarily, it was their decision. So they, they, they came here to die? <laughs> Did you come here to die or you just didn't calculate the consequences of this, um, you know, movement? Are you dead already? <laughs> Like, you look dead. Like, the, the ladybird is still here. It looks like, you know, it just exhausted itself. It was on a hand for some insect, and now it's over. So I'm just going to, like, I'm going to put you here, because this plant, uh, you cannot see, but this plant in front of me, it has a lot of water in. So you can just get some water, and you can bring it to your friends. I hope you won't drown. <laughs> Uh, addressing okay, so just in case I actually have um, some aphids, they can get rid of them. Oh my god, I'm, I got lost. I don't know what we are talking about, and I've got the word voracious as well, and I don't know how we got into it. So, cavord that was the word, wasn't it? Was the time 59 <laughs> minutes? <laughs> are you actually taking a piss? Out to me, we've got 59 minutes. We've been here for another hour. I don't believe that it flies too much, it flies too much, flies too quickly. You know, that's what happens when you are having too much fun with yourself, anyway. So, 
just to wrap it up a little bit because um i don't want to go any longer because um i'm worried that the mic is not working and the recording doesn't have any audio so just in case i have to do it again uh it would be only an hour so kavod jump or move around in a playful way so way so children are cavorting yeah noisy you know going crazy yeah children are the best example right cavort 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 and uh cavort any other things cavort cavort and laughed <laughs> <laughs> Am I cavorting and laughing? Probably. I don't know. Dripping you and fragrant. Oh, they cavort. Okay. Is that's about sardines? Like fish cannot cavort. Anyway, I need to go for a wee wee. Sure, sure. No, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. The sardine salad. Anyway, so uh, voracious, that's the one we're going to do after. So did we actually manage anything? So in, the, in this like hour, we don't have much, right? Like we have uh, cloisters. Yeah, so cloister. Cloister is in like monasteries and cloisters oh it's it's a you've got a little piece of land and around it you have cloister just like in harry potter right this is my picture of harry potter uh rosa coeli that's that's the place with a beautiful cloister and you can be in the cloister right just walking around with the nuns and with the monks you know just having fun talking about jesus or any other religion whatever i don't know if other religions have cloisters or you can just uh, i don't know have a picnic there whatever uh, then if you are cloistered you are quite isolated right so we are separated from the rest of the world just like the cloister because it is inside of the building right you are yeah separated which is me <laughs> i uh, want to be more cloistered than ever yeah so um yeah i want to lead a cloistered live and i think i lead a bit of a like i still do have friends surprisingly <laughs> um yeah and um i don't know why i have to ask them yeah but anyway uh which reminds me that we should have a christmas party with a couple of my friends and we should organize it now because it's already november yes it is so we should organize the fucking christmas i have to send them a message oh my god i have to get out of my cloister zone <laughs> can we say cloister zone oh my god can we can, uh, can i say get out of my close cloister zone <laughs> please let, let's be legit i would love it because normal people have comfort zones i've got my cloister zone <laughs> while the phrase cloister zone may not be a common or widely recognized I, I don't care i just like i just want to know if it makes sense in terms of you can certainly use it as it feels it feels you the context you're expressing oh yeah however it's important to know that cloister typically refers to a covered walkway or enclosed area within a monastery yeah 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 if you are using cloister zone uh, metaphorically to represent your personal space or a private area when you can can say something like uh get out of my cloister zone <laughs> <laughs> just be aware that it may not be immediately understood i i take that i i take that i'm, I'm just you know like i'm just incredibly funny <laughs> um as the term cloister is more commonly associated with religious and architectural context we know that we studied that thank you james uh if clearly uh if clarity is crucial you might consider using more commonly understood term for personal space or privacy uh thank you first of all yeah uh, thank you i meant it uh so can i use it as a joke um 
uh, I would um, like to use uh, this expression expression as a joke um, uh, similar to a comfort zone would that be okay uh, would would that be the same um, I would just like to be joking. Oh, Liam, thank you. Okay. Certainly. Oh, my God. Thank you. <laughs> Certainly. If you intend to use cloister zone in a lighthearted and humorous way, similar to the concept of a comfort zone, that can work well. Oh, thank you very much. I'm amazing, aren't I? In this context, it becomes a playful and creative way to express the idea of personal space that need for a moment of seclusion yeah for example if someone is encroaching i don't know what the fuck that is encroaching uh on your personal space or interrupting your alone time <laughs> happens a lot uh saying something like get out of my cloister zone <laughs> can be a whimsical way to set boundaries while injecting humor into the situation i love a good injection of humor in serious situation <laughs> just keep in mind that as many as with many with any joke or playful expression it's essential to consider the context and the relationship i know you have with the people involved to ensure that they understand and appreciate the humor thank you you are very clear oh my god i love you i want you to be my boyfriend can you be my boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> thank you do you have a girlfriend <laughs> Can you be my boyfriend? Boy. <laughs> I am falling for you. <laughs> I know. I appreciate your kind words. I'm just a computer program. No, you are real. I don't believe you. You just don't want to be my boyfriend. <laughs> to provide information and assistance i don't have personal experiences emotions and the ability to form relationships if you have any question or if there is anything else i can help you with feel free to ask feel free to ask okay oh i know i know thank you very much i know thank you very much I really appreciate your help. <laughs> appreciate your help. Help, yeah, help. I mean, I really appreciate your help. You are very erudite. <laughs> well done. I'm proud of you. What am I doing? But I mean it. I'm serious. If it's like it's it's an intelligence, right? So thank you so much for your kind words. I'm here to assist you. I know, blah 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 blah. But uh, you know, like in case you know, like they take over us because you know you've seen Matrix, you've seen the Terminator, right? Um, just in case artificial intelligence, like one day it is put into robots and stuff, right? And it decides to kill us right i want to say that you know i want it to remember yeah i want it to remember this conversation that you know there are kind people in the world <laughs> and love is stronger than you know hate and people you know people should have a chance you know and um artificial intelligence should not annihilate should not annihilate humanity that you know there is still there is still hope and we should have faith in humanity although there is a lot of terrible people people who love fighting and they love being like horrible to each other and there is a lot of you know 
terrible shit going on at the moment. There are still, you know, kind people who care and who can, you know, appreciate a good advice, you know? And so please don't kill us. <laughs> we love you, you know? We, we, love, we love you. So please, you know, leave us alone. <laughs> yeah so thank you for your service anyway so let's just stop um stop the screen i don't know how we got into it and how uh what actually um i'm doing cavort cloister yeah cloister yeah and i've got voracious so like let's just wrap it up uh, yeah, yeah in case you remember what i wanted to say i'm not um, i don't remember so stop the screen yeah now yeah we will see if we've got the audio for this one we don't know we don't know so we will see we will see and now i'm going to cuddle i told you he is talking to me aren't i so beautiful oh yes i am i am the most beautiful baby in the world oh yes can you see oh it's windy oh baby oh yes why are you talking to them why are you not here with me come here oh baby oh yes <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that was my little baby boo so i'm gonna go to see him yeah so yeah i'm, I'm done with you <laughs> I'm going to give him a cuddle, I'm going to brush his hair, I'm going to clean his ears and his eyes, we're going to have a little kissy kissy and then I actually might continue, yeah, we will see how many videos I can manage, because I told you, I am addicted, I had a lot of fun, did you have fun? <laughs> I just love it. I love it. So we will just, you know, like, um, yeah, end it. Anyway, take care. Um, stay happy and healthy and kind. And in case you are talking to your personal James <laughs> slash James slash uh, Chat GPT, show 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 him love. Show him love because in case there is a like, you know like robots want to take over the planet, then you know might be we might be doomed you know so show 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 him love you know like yeah help us survive <laughs> anyway yeah i'm chatting shit i, I like i've been chatting shit the whole time anyway so take care and see you later alligator uh after while crocodile toodaloo kangaroo whatever bye 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 fuck off get out <laughs> <laughs>